There are over 5,000 breweries in the United States. The latest one right here in Youngstown on Rand Avenue. So exciting. And you know what? Andrew DiPaolo is checking it out. He is at Noble Creatures Cask House. Good morning. Hey, Krista. Hey, Mike. I'm joined by Ira and Marcy Gerhardt. They're owners of the Noble Creature Cask House, Youngstown's newest brewery. It's kind of sitting right up the hill from the MVR. It's such a cool space. It's a renovated old church. Uh, Ira, how did you guys come to actually get the property? Uh, we were just looking for, uh, you know, a property in Youngstown to start a brewery basically since we moved here. And uh, we kind of fell fell in love with this spot so it was available and uh, yeah we ended up signing a lease and we're just trying to do everything we can to you know restore it keep as much as the original woodwork as possible um, yeah and give it a give it a new life and uh, hopefully people get some enjoyment out of it and, and Marcy speaking of that you actually restored part of it so tell me a little bit about what you had to do to kind of get this up into shape uh, we worked a lot on the stained glass windows to repair broken pa panels and um, we've used the uh, old hardwood floor to make some tables in the bar top so we're trying to use as much of it as we can yeah it's so cool how much you guys have really restored from that old church i mean obviously the stained glass windows are absolutely beautiful here but, but of course uh, it's all about the beer you've been brewing a little bit beforehand um tell me about kind of your process to, to kind of own your own brewery uh well as far as owning it the own, our own brewery it's uh it's definitely been a uh it's been a struggle at times. It's a lot of paperwork, uh, uh, a lot of hoops to jump through. But for the most part, you know, it's a, it's all about the beer, and um, you know, it's just a passion for it. So we're gonna make a bunch of different beers here. Uh, a lot of yeah. Tell me all about your beers that you have. Uh, well, right now we have a uh, we have a couple funky beers with some Britannomyces. Uh, we didn't get into the barrel aging yet because we're just trying to get some quicker beers out. So we're gonna be doing a lot of like more like sessionable stuff, five six percent. We'll do some some big beers, but uh, like right now we got a Russian Imperial Stout in the first fermenter. Um, but yeah, just playing around with a bunch of different yeast strains and some local wild cultures and, you know, just trying to do fun stuff. <laughs> what is this big barrel behind me here? Oh, that's a food or a, a cask. That was an Italian uh, that held Chianti for about five years. So uh, we got that uh, imported from Italy. So that's going to be like our uh, our house uh, sour red ale. And that is how you got the name Noble Creature Cask House. Yeah, well, Noble Creature is actually basically based off our uh, our pets. Uh, our our cat that uh, we had to put down, unfortunately, was the original Noble Creature. That's why you might see the the cat skull <laughs> everywhere. But uh, and then our, our our dogs Chelsea and Dobby, who have a a, a lot of beer names uh, coming up. So uh, yeah, they're definitely. I bet they love beer, huh? Uh, Dobby, Dobby <laughs> does. Yeah. Chelsea won't handle it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, coming up here in a little bit guys we're actually going to make our way to the basement uh they got all their kegs ready and really everything uh about the brewery process we're going to find out how they make their own beers they got a beer called the youngstonian i'm going to try that after the show but i heard it's very good back to you all right we're going to check in with andrew in a couple minutes with the forecast also in the next 60 we'll tell you about breaking point and people that are facing uh, treatment at that facility